You made big money if you participated in the secondary markets, but you also made money this year if you bought the IPOs. In fact, IPO fundraising was at a six-year high in F5-17. Clearly a busy year. Mangla? Uh, Rima, you know, it was clearly a very busy year as far as IPOs are concerned. 25 IPOs were launched in this year. Remember, FY17 was a good year for the Nifty as well, 18.5% gain there. But was it the best year? Not really, because in the previous years, the run-up to the Modi elections, we saw gains of 18 to 27% coming in in uh, the Nifty from a financial year perspective. But we're talking about primary markets out here. We raised close to 29,000 crores via IPOs this year, which is the second best after 2011. Remember, that year, we had the Coal India IPO office. 15,000 crore itself. Uh, highest amount uh, raised since FY11 as the graphic plate will sh uh, show you. 800 crores came in from the SME IPO, so that too was a heartening figure. Some notable IPOs, we had the LNT Babies, LNT Infotech, LNT Tech, uh, we had Ujjivan Equitas, Thairocare, Mahanagar Gas, and this was also a year of the first because we had the largest IPO in a very long time since Coal India, ICICI Prudential Life, the first life insurance company to be listed on our bourses. And uh, here's the heartening fact, 23 out of the 25 IPOs that were launched and listed this year gave you listing gains. So you went home with a decent amount of money. The first exchange to be listed, the Bombay Stock Exchange, the grand old daddy of exchanges, also came on, on this year. And now take a look at what the returns have been for a lot of the IPOs this year. We have the likes of Advanced Enzymes, which has given 130%. Questcorp gave you 116%. Throw in an RBL bank, Managar Gas, all of them above 100%. And we also have the likes of OG1, HPL Electric, which uh, HPL Electric actually lost money. OG1 gained above 100%. HPL Electric down 43%, and then we had some losers like Varun Beverages and LNT Tech too. The year ended with a bang, the DMART IPO 106 times oversubscribed, 114% listing gains. But uh, that's not all. FY18 is here, and we have to keep an eye out on the IPOs which are looking, which the street is looking forward to in FY18, which is the likes of NSC, GoAir, we have Hoodco, CDSL, and SBI Life too. All right, Manglam, thanks so much. Uh,